Good morning. This is the Eastern Idaho Planning Briefing for Monday, February 22nd. Thank you for joining us this morning. Taking a look at our weather impacts here for the next few days, we will have winds increasing later on this afternoon and especially as we get into the day on Tuesday. Snow chances will increase as well as a frontal system moves into the area uh, later on this evening and into the day Tuesday. Those highest snow chances and snow accumulations will be mainly across the central mountains and eastern highlands where winter weather advisories are in place. And then behind uh, a little secondary system uh, late Tuesday and into Wednesday, colder temperatures will filter into the area. Looking at the current satellite view this area, uh, across the area this morning, we have a big area of high pressure here off the western coast of California with clouds and moisture streaming in on the northern periphery of that and you can kind of see the general motion of, of this these uh, clouds here kind of streaming across the Pacific Northwest and, and down into our region uh, and that will this will serve as the uh, f main feature of interest here over the next 24 hours or so. As far as weather impacts are concerned uh, not a whole lot today we will get some afternoon snow showers moving in uh, to the higher terrain uh, later on today but really the more significant impacts will start as we get into the day tomorrow uh, with gusty winds ex expected across a good portion of the area as well as uh, blowing with some blowing and drifting snow uh, issues as well as we get into the day Wednesday and Thursday we'll have some lingering snow showers uh, but shouldn't cause too many issues and then another system looks to move in Friday, bringing some additional chances for snow. As far as high temperatures are concerned today, uh, generally expected to be fairly mild, especially from, uh, say, Blackfoot over into the Magic Valley, where temperatures will be in the 40s. As you head up towards the Montana Divide, however, temperatures will get a little bit colder, uh, with highs right around freezing or slightly below. I did mention the wind issues that were growing concerned with. Uh, these are our wind gusts expected this afternoon. So you can see a little breezy, uh, especially across the s portions of the Snake Plain, uh, but nothing too extreme. Um, but these uh, values will go up as we move into the day uh, on Tuesday, and we'll get there uh, shortly. Overnight, you can see those winds really start to ramp up uh, with those gusts in the 30 to 35 mile per hour range across a good portion of the area. As far as snowfall amounts tonight, again, mainly focused uh, across the higher terrain with a couple inches uh, possible in the Stanley uh, area with another three to four inches possible across Island Park. As you head down towards Driggs into the Teton Valley, uh, an inch or so uh, expected there. Now as we move into the day tomorrow, expecting those temperatures to drop uh, a little bit for daytime highs, but, but not too much. Although the snowfall uh, will start to pick up, especially as you head into the Teton Valley. Down in here, Swan Valley, one to two inches, Driggs two to three and then we'll get an additional one to two inches across the Island Park area as well. Uh, but as we get into Tuesday morning, that's when we're expecting the winds to really ramp up across a good portion of the area. These are expected wind gusts, so you can see gusts in the 35 to 45 mile per hour range across a good portion of the, the lower Snake, Upper Snake, Magic Valley, and even up here into the Teton Valley, and this was one of the reasons for the issuance of the winter weather advisory. Uh, snowfall totals aren't extremely high, not necessarily winter weather advisory criteria, uh, but with all these uh, strong wind gusts, there will be significant blowing and drifting snow concerns, which could lead to some localized road closures, kind of like what we've seen in the last uh, few weeks. So uh, that was the main reasoning for issuing the winter weather advisory across this area. Winds will slowly subside as we get into Tuesday afternoon and evening. You can see uh, across the Upper Snake and in the Teton Valley those numbers are starting to go down, but they will still be quite gusty uh, here in the Snake Plain. Uh, and there will be a need for a wind advisory uh, to be issued for a good portion of the area later on uh, this afternoon. 
far as low temperatures are concerned. Uh, as we get into the Tuesday evening and the Wednesday morning time period, uh, those overnight lows will start to go down a little bit from what we've seen the last few days. Uh, with Thursday morning uh, looking to be the coldest and those high temperatures on Wednesday as well will start to trend down uh, where you can see here on, on Wednesday a good portion of the area is below freezing the exception being maybe portions of the Magic Valley uh, but just about everybody uh, looks to be at or below freezing for high temperatures on Wednesday and then those temperatures really bottom out as we get into the Thursday morning with uh, areas below zero uh, with widespread single digits and then lower to mid-teens are the warmest locations generally in the 86 corridor from Pocatello into, um, into Burley. That uh, cold weather looks to stick around for a little while. Uh, the most recent 6 to 10 day temperature outlook pretty much has a bullseye across eastern Idaho for below normal temperatures and that kind of continues into the 8 to 14 day time period as well. So. Uh, this colder weather does look to be sticking around for uh, at least another week or so. Uh, we'll have to see if things change beyond that. But again, uh, winds increasing later on this afternoon with snow chances uh, as we get into the day tomorrow. We do have the winter weather advisory in place across the Island Park and Teton Valley in the Big Hole Mountains area for um, generally two to six inches of snow. Uh, but again, that blowing and drifting snow was the, probably the greater concern in that area with colder temperatures moving in uh, to the area on Wednesday. As always, if you need any additional help, please feel free to give us a call or send us an email. And thank you for joining us this morning, and we'll see you again tomorrow.